What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to rain in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you some tips and tricks to be aware of, some best strategies to put in place, and of course some fun and easy combos that you can learn today. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is going to be the universal language that we use so that everybody who's watching understands what we're saying. Rain is a great character and he's a character that really likes to play with his food. Like he's going to be playing some mind games with your opponent. As though Rain can be really good at close range, he really excels at mid to long range because of all of his tools that he's got. Example one. Example two. Example three. You just got so much going on that kind of makes you want to keep your opponent away, but then if they do get in close, you're totally okay. The Water Wizard himself has some great normals and specials, so let's get started with your best overhead and low options. And first and foremost, you're just going to be using forward 3-2 a lot. It's a double overhead pop-up for air combos. And real quick, with the air combos, you have a couple options here you see with Rain. We have 1-4-2, we have 2-4-3, and we have 3-2. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, I'll have a couple notes for you, but keep in mind right now, you're probably going to be using 3 Three, two the most in the corner in actual combos you're gonna be using two four three probably the most and one four two is okay so we're gonna do four three two to get him in the air and i'll show you with the air combos and what they do and when you might use them let's go ahead and do two four three in the air i'll show you two four three and you see how it bounces our opponent up right in front of us allowing us to continue a combo now we're gonna do four three two jump up do three two and that pop-up is great, but the problem is it kind of pushes our opponent kind of far away from us, which is why the three two in the air is better in the corner. Then we have 1-4-2 as well. So we jump up to 1-4-2. And that's not bad. I just found that 2-4-3 is more consistent for combos when you land. Another great overhead option you have is your 2-1-1-2 combo. As you see there, we do the overhead in the middle, but what's really cool about that is you can cancel that combo and just do the 2-1-1 right here and then continue the combo from there. So we hit the overhead, then do a special, like let's say our down back three option, the geyser. Just go ahead and do that. Two, one, one, wait for it, down back three. That way we hit the overhead into our special. Then for low options, we have one, one, four. Ends with the low, but if you're fast enough, you can do down back three after that. That way, once you see the hit confirm of the low, you can go ahead and continue the combo. Another great low combo starter is your four, two, one, and then continue into a special, like your down back three or your down back one. And you can enhance your down back one. It's kind of an anti-air projectile. So as you see, our opponent's kind of close, but the projectile won't actually hit. It goes right over them. So it's more or less used for a good anti-air, but if you enhance it, you can do it in combos. So we can do our four to one, two, down back one, enhanced. As you see there, our opponent's popped up for an air combo. So we can jump up and do two, four, three. Those right there are going to be your staple combo starters. And now to go over Rain's awesome normals, he's got a great one, which is just his neutral four. And if you hold it, you get the around the world kick combo start. If you do it normally, just press it. You hit it, but no combo start. It's kind of slow. If you hold it, though, we can do two, one, one after that. Continue the combo. Great normal. Another great normal is your neutral three. And that's great because it's a great anti-air. If your opponent's jumping in, just press three, anti-air them. And that can cancel into special moves. One of my favorite normal combos is your two on one. As you see that we got the good range on. We're, we're not too far away, we're not too close. And if we just do two on one, that overhead's gonna hit, allowing us to combo if we can. Now to go over Rain's insane specials, this is where you're really gonna be playing mind games with your opponent because you have your down back two, and that sets you up a portal. Well, guess what? You do it again in the air or on the ground. Now you got two portals, so now you can just teleport down forward to to your portal. What you can do is you can set a portal up down back two, then rush your opponent, do a combo. If they block it, okay, back up a little bit. You know, then they then they want to zone you out. But psych down forward two, we're gonna teleport there, get back in their face. So you're setting your portal down to kind of set your future up in case you might mess up or you want to do a different pressure style or for a backup. So you can actually like just do down back two way back here. Then, you know, rush your opponent. Oh my gosh, I messed up. Teleport back here. With your portals, you can kind of create the spacing that you want and decide how far you want to be away from your opponent. There's a lot of crazy things you can do with the portals. You can even use them in combos if you're fast enough. It takes some practice, but it'll be far worth it. Your next awesome special is going to be your back four to four. This low portal that pops your opponent up for a combo. And that You can control that by holding forward or back or you know, towards you to allow the portal to go far or close to you. So we can hold forward and it does far away. And if we do that far away and we see a hit, we can rush up and do a combo but if they're in your face and they're blocking hide throw it out there but hold close to you 
and get a free combo. It's not super safe, so I wouldn't abuse it. I would just throw it out there when you know you're gonna hit it. Or if they're blocking, throw it out there, make them keep blocking, then rush them. It's a really good pressure tool. Next, you have down, down, up, which you can hold. And this is where you wanna decide where to throw that giant lightning ball. You can, again, hold far or close and decide where to throw it. So they're far away. So we're gonna jump up there, pull forward, we hit him far away. You can do both the ground portal and that lightning bolt far. So we'll throw the far portal, right? Then we're gonna go up there, hold far, hit them, that actually connect. Not a crazy combo, but it's fun to use. It's a really good tool if your opponent has a lot of low moves or they use a cameo that has a lot of low moves like Frost. You can just jump up there and just throw them off guard. Next we have forward down back four creates this bubble shield that actually eats enemy projectiles, including cameos projectiles. And if you enhance it, it actually follows you wherever you go. So it might be a good way to enhance it, throw it up there, then rush them just in case. Again, range has got so many tools in his arsenal. It's gonna feel like a lot at first, but once you get it down, you're gonna be a menace. A quick side note about his back forward one projectile. It's a bit slow, but if you hold it, you get a stun for like a knockdown in a way. If you're fast enough, you can continue the combo from there too. Speaking of combos, let's go ahead and get in some quick and easy ones that you can learn today. Guys, let me know down below, what do you think of Rain in Mortal Kombat 1? Do you like him? Do you hate him? Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and take it one step at a time.